Hello Trout in the Classroom participants, Happy New Year. Welcome to this week's Trout in the Office update video. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and New Year's holiday. We're gonna start this week with water quality. Our pH is still staying stable at 8.2. Our ammonia is at zero parts per million, nitrites zero parts per million, and nitrates between 20 and 40 parts per million. These are all great water quality parameters for our nitrogen cycle and our pH as well. As for our trout, they've gotten a lot larger since our last update video. We still have that one abnormally large fish right there. There's virtually no small rainbow trout left because either they've gotten bigger or any of the small ones definitely got gobbled up by the larger fish. So our rainbow trout are actually getting large enough now that we can use some physical characteristics to help us identify them even further. One thing I want to talk about is the absence of vermiculations. So what are vermiculations? So we can actually use this nice photo of a wild brook trout, Pennsylvania's state fish, to show you what vermiculations are. And that's these lines, all these squiggly lines on the back of this fish. They actually look like the lines that you might see on a topographical map. So these are known as vermiculations and we can use those to help us ID brook trout. For a rainbow trout, you can actually see this pinkish, this reddish or pinkish line that runs along the lateral line right here. So some of our fish are actually getting large enough where you can see this pinkish or this reddish color along their size. And you could definitely see it on our big one that's a little bit camera shy right now, but you can see it on some of these other fish as well. So that's gonna conclude this week's update. Stay tuned for next week's.